Hello and as mentioned in the last prime time, I just came back from Dubai where we went to see an example of how small brands are evolving when it comes to getting exposure and especially getting closer to the market and the customers instead of attending the big watch shows. So German brand Moritz Grossmann is one fine example and they will now embark on some kind of world tour and each time not only meet people directly on site but using each step to reveal some new timepieces in their collection. A pretty smart way of adapting your marketing budgets when you're still a pretty young and small company. Let's discover more. We decided last year not to go on with the Basel word and what we will do is now uh, to go in different regions to be more close to the retailers and more close to the journalists. And talking about the, the timepieces themselves, then what did you present? What are you presenting? Yeah, uh, the introduction of our first GMT watch, a watch with a second time zone. And it's easy handling because you can disconnect the second time function from uh, the regular movement and you can put it forward, backward very easily in handling. And the second one is our Tefnut 1001 Night with a new uh, golden Milanese bracelet. So it's a very fantastic, beautiful lady piece. The next step will be Tokyo and in May we will go to Hong Kong and June to London. So one true novelty with this uh, GMT and one variant for the ladies watch, but the brand also took this opportunity to demonstrate how it can produce limited editions with local partners in this case, and this naturally with the goal of also expanding exposure of the brand to a wider audience of collectors. There were actually two examples of this, and the first one is a limited edition in a certain way, co-developed uh, with the brand's local distributor, the Siddiquis and Son, a watch that combines something normally you would never ever want to see in a watch, sand. The sand watch, that's already a piece we made uh, the second time of a series seri here in Dubai, which we designed, we really thought out of the box. It's a fusion of sand and <laughs> movements, which normally shouldn't come together, but we paired them in a way that uh, it's entertaining and interesting for the, for the client. The second example concerns another special edition, but this time it's more a customization than a full development. They did so with Devil Motors uh, that have this crazy project of producing a 5,000 horsepower car. Yeah, you heard me right. 5,000 horsepower, because personally I had to ask twice. And actually the term dragster is probably more appropriate since the goal with this uh, is mainly to set some kind of crazy performance on a very straight line. So anyhow, let's learn a little bit more. We wanted to create something very unique, very powerful, very special, and uh, it's not something you see it every day. And uh, we really work hard and we come with some designs which, which is supposed to look like a jet fighter and the power of many, it's like almost 10 supercars. And uh, with the V16 engine, 5,000 horsepower, quad turbo, and uh, we are targeting to reach 300 miles per hour with this car. We had the contact here and uh, I think it's a fantastic car, it's a beautiful car, the Devil 16. And then we created the idea to do a limited edition of 16 pieces and what we made, we put the wheel of the car and we made the design, you know, some dials we can produce in-house. It's steel blacked, it's a, with the movement high artistic finish and in front you see the wheel and the Devil 16 logo. So other ways of reaching out, presenting products, meeting new people and that's the very important aspect of this. Because yes, we're talking watches but ultimately if he can create a human bond between those who make it and those that appreciate it, well I think it's all for the better. So all the best and viva watchmaking and I must admit was nice to be in the hotter weather than this super grey and cold Geneva, you see what I mean? See you soon. <laughs> Schönstes deutsches Handwerk. Schönstes deutsches Handwerk. Schönstes deutsches Handwerk. Ja.